皆さん、こんにちは。ジャムライ・インドネシアです。We are now、uh, on the next、uh, module, module、uh, number seven, and let's start with submodule number one. Module number seven is about occupancy classification. Okay, let's、uh, start with the objective of the code. Wherein it states that life safety code addresses specific requirements to minimize danger to life from fire that includes smoke, heat, and toxic gases. In doing so, it also provides mission continuity and property protection in both new construction and existing buildings. We have、uh, three. Major、uh, topics under part two. And、uh, now we are on again occupancy classification. And under occupancy classification, we have uh, uh, lined up several important、uh, concepts, principles to be able to divide. Logically, the different types of occupancy. So, let us first discuss with the、uh, occupancy types. Then,、uh, there are other four of it, like、uh, mixed occupancy, separate occupancy, combination, and incidental. Let's start with occupancy types. So, Occupancy classification is uh, the, uh, the topic actually of chapter six of the code. NAPA 101, chapter six provides descriptions and requirements needed for accurately determining the occupancy classification. We must be able to determine, find out what are the differences of this. Categories. The paramount task is、uh, as occupancy classification must be determined correctly so that the appropriate occupancy chapter is used to provide the life safety features and systems needed by that occupant's characteristics. So that is the reason why we have to be able to accurately find out what is the Occupancy type of our application. So, in、uh, chapter 3.3.196, occupancy for complete definitions, we have the following. What is an ambulatory healthcare? Those that provide s outpatient treatment to more than or equal to four patients, including treatment or anesthesia rendering them. Incapable of unassisted self preservation and of emergency care for patients incapable of unassisted self preservation due to injury or illness.、Um, because we have what? Health care. So let us uh, first uh, next go to what is the definition of health care. Those、uh, applications that provide s inpatient. okay? So, ambulatory is outpatient. This one is inpatient medical care. Outpatient, inpatient meaning、uh, it is、uh, dependent about, upon the,、uh, the healthcare facility. If you are inside, staying inside the facility, You are called inpatient. If you are staying outside of the facility, you are outpatient. So, inpatient medical care to four or more, more patients. Four or more. So, the, the threshold is four. So, three or less patients. Uh, we cannot call it healthcare. 
or uh, ambulatory healthcare. So the threshold is four or more patients. Where patients are mostly incapable of self-preservation due to age, disability, or security. So security meaning, for example, uh, they are uh, strict liberty restricted criminals. So that means security, disability. So we already know that is a disabled person and age. And so while on uh, healthcare, outpatient, uh, but uh, also includes those being treated or uh, and or anesthesia rendering, then an assisted self-preservation and or emergency care incapable of unassisted self-preservation. So if they are assisted, they can. Okay? But in healthcare, incapable of self-preservation due to age, specifically AIDS, disability, or security. Those are what we call inpatient and uh, the uh, facilities what we call healthcare. Okay? So what is an assembly? Assembly applications are those used for gathering of 50 or more persons for deliberation, worship, entertainment, eating, drinking, amusement, awaiting transportation, or as a special amusement building regardless of occupant load. Okay, let us uh, give some example. 50 or more persons for deliberation. So if there are uh, uh, assembly of 50 or more talking to each other, okay? For example, church, okay? For example, uh, even though they are not talking to each other, for example, uh, they are watching movie. So cheater, cheater is... Uh, an assembly application. Eating, drinking, those are for example restaurant with 50 or more. Okay? Amusement. So game cafe. There are 50 or more gamers. Then it is called assembly. Not only that, those uh, what um, awaiting transportation, meaning terminals. And there are 50 or more, 50 or more person waiting for bus, for example. So that, that means that is an area of assembly or a special amusement building. Special amusement building, some call uh, uh, display or uh, those uh, person very popular in Japan is the, there are person uh, that looks like anime. They are uh, making clothes that will uh, be used and uh, they will look like an, uh, as an anime character and they will go to a certain area, park or any a specific area and they will gather there. So the gathering place is what we call an assembly. If there are 50 or more persons. So regardless of occupant load. And uh, next is uh, business. Business are those application for transaction of business other than mercantile. So therefore, let us go to mercantile. Mercantile are those used for display and sale of merchandise. Okay, display and sale of merchandise. So that is mercantile. Actually, they are, they are business, but in this code, it is distinguished from uh, 
type of activities that uh, do not display and sold sale, do not display and do not sold items. And uh, they are doing what? For example, accounting work. Uh, uh, what else? Production. Uh, okay. Finishing work. So, or uh, quality control work. So, those are business rather than mercantile because uh, they are not just to display and sell products. Okay. Uh, next is uh, daycare. So, daycare provides care maintenance and supervision by other than relatives or legal guardians to four or more again for four or more for less than 24 hours per day okay they care less than 24 hours per day so not 24 hours if uh, that is 24 hours that is what 24 hour occupancy that means uh, Another thing, uh, lodging or apartment, hotel, okay? that is now residential. Okay? But daycare, they will be picked up daily by their uh, parents or so, okay? or relatives. And the next one is what? Uh, let us compare daycare to residential. Residential provides sleeping accommodations other than health care or detention correctional okay so sleeping accommodation for residential other than health care so it is not health care only provision for sleeping that is residential and there are several types uh, one two family dwelling not more than two dwelling units so one and two not more than two either one or two okay uh, another type for residential is lodging or rooming house, sleeping accommodations for uh, 16 or less, 16 person or less. Okay, sleeping accommodation only, so that is only lodging. No, uh, hotel or dormitory, sleeping accommodation for more than 16. So the threshold is 16. It will become a hotel or dormitory if more than 16. Lodging, roaming house, less than or equal to 16. Apartment building, three or more dwelling units. That, that is the difference between one and two family buildings. So, so there are four types of residential. Okay, one or two family building, apartment, lodging or roaming house, and hotel or dormitory. Okay, what about uh, residential board care? Used for lodging, boarding, or for, for more residents. Okay, not related to operators for purpose of providing personal care services. So, there is an operator in that, uh, in that uh, occupancy. So while on residential, it is not necessarily uh, the owner of the building or the owner of the residential that, for example, other uh, families are renting are actually living far or away from that area. While in residential boarding kit, the owner of the building of the residential unit is or are occupying the same area. Okay, so providing lodging or sleeping provision and boarding or food for uh, four or more uh, residents. Okay. So that is a difference between residential and residential board in care. And what is a uh, uh, detention and correctional? Those are facilities or houses 
which uh, have persons where occupants are mostly incapable of self-preservation due to security, just like what I've said. No? They are uh, controlled by security because of their status. No? They, are, they are criminals, usually. Okay? They are incapable of self-preservation. Maybe they are what? They are what? Uh, they call that? Luck. They are luck uh, in both uh, arms or legs sometimes. There are situations that uh, prisoners are luck in uh, arms, for example, or in uh, uh, legs. Okay? And because of that, they are not uh, in control of their own self of uh, uh, safety. Okay. Educational occupancy uh, used for educational purposes through 12th grade by six or more persons for four or more hours per day or 12, more than 12 hours per week. More than 12 hours per week that uh, um, student, person, six or more person, six or more person, and 12, up to 12 grade. No? So up to 12 grade, meaning elementary, high school, and senior high school. Okay. So meaning <laughs> college are not, college are not, classified as educational hmm. because that is not an occupancy use for educational purposes through 12th grade by six or more persons for four hours per day or 12 hours per week okay therefore what is what is a what is a university How can we classify university? Okay. University could be classified as what? Assembly. Okay. Assembly. University is an assembly because there are 50 persons or more that are deliberating or discussing something. Okay. So, a university is not an educational occupancy. Okay. Residential board in care used for lodging. Ah, okay. And the next one is industrial. What is an industrial occupancy? Those manufacturing, processing, assembling, mixing, packaging, finishing, decorating, or retail conducted. Those uh, facilities conducting manufacturing, processing, assembly, mixing, packaging, finishing, decorating, or retail. So, industrial. You can see so, plant, no? Manufacturing plant. This is plant. So, What's the next is storage. Storage of those uh, facilities used primarily for the storage or sheltering of goods, merchandise, products, or vehicles. Okay, so what is any storage? Okay, so there are storage in schools or there are uh, areas that you can consider as students, school and industrial, okay? There are storage facilities in industrial, okay? So these are the occupancy types according to uh, paragraph 186, section three of chapter three. And uh, that is the last slide. Thank you for listening.
Again, this is Kutoribi, Preaching Engineering Coordination Building.